Hello guys, Sorin here. In this short walkthrough, I want to show you exactly how you can uh, use your new WordPress Lead Finder plugin. You have probably already downloaded to your computer. So uh, the first step that we have to take is to go ahead on the website where you want to install it on your WordPress website. As you already know, this, uh, this plugin will help you to get leads from Facebook and Twitter, targeted leads that afterwards you can call or you can email and obviously you'll get more sales, you have more prospects and you get more exposure for your business. So first things first, what I want you to do is go ahead on your uh, WordPress website where you want to install this plugin, log into your administrator dashboard and this is what you will see at first sight. Now go ahead and look uh, in the left side menu. You have a plugin section. Go and click on that section. And in the plugin section, in the left top corner, we have an add new button. Click on that button, add new. And then another page will open for us and we'll have another, another button which says upload plugin. Click on that button. Then we will have choose file. And basically you have to search on your computer where you have the file. So bear with me for a couple of seconds because I have to search it as well. So I will just put the address where it should be on my computer. And here it is. Okay, click on it on your zip filed plugin. Then click the open button. Then you press the install now. And we wait for it to be installed on our WordPress website. It should not take more than 10 or 15 seconds. Now, if you see this piece of text here, plugin installed successfully, then everything went right. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and activate your plugin. Okay, and this is it. If we look in the plugins uh, list here, we can see that our new plugin has been installed and activated. And if we look in the left side menu, we can see our new plugin here. Now, if you go with your mouse cursor on it, you will see that you have more options like settings, Facebook lead finder, Twitter lead finder, database, phone numbers and emails. The, free, uh, the last three options obviously are referring to leads that you already gotten from Facebook and Twitter. Now the first thing that you need to do is go ahead in the settings section and you will have to put in this, uh, all of, you will have to fill in all of these fields here, okay? I know that this seems a little bit complicated at first sight, but it's not at all and I will walk you through how to do it. First things first, what you want to do is go ahead and go on developers.facebook.com. You should already be uh, inside, uh, logged into your Facebook account. And here you will see that you have this uh, option, my apps, okay, in the right top corner. What you want to do is go ahead and click on add a new app, <laughs> give your new app a name like test six, Okay, then go ahead and press create app ID. You will have a CAPTCHA code here. Submit it. Okay, bear with me for a couple of seconds. And here we are. Okay, this will be your app ID. <clears throat> now what I want you to do is go ahead and press on the Facebook login, get started. Web. Okay, we are not interested in this part here. What we are interested in is to go ahead in the left side menu in the Facebook login to settings. Okay, and we will have, we will have this address here, valid, uh, valid redirect URLs, okay, URLs, sorry. Now what we want to do is go ahead and copy this, uh, <clears throat> actually copy this, uh, this link here, okay, from our website and paste it here, okay? Press save changes <clears throat> and we are done. And now what you want to do is go ahead in the settings section and press show app. It will appear a pop-up where you have to put your uh, password again and then you have the app ID and the app secret. Now what you want to do is copy the app ID, okay? Copy it here in your WordPress lead finder settings and the app secret ID, which is this one, copy it and paste it here, okay? Now what you want to do is log in. Continue, okay, <clears throat> we are done, okay? So this one works. Now the next thing that you want to do, uh, if you also want to use Twitter, okay, 
is put is uh, to put in and fill in all of these uh, these fields here right so what you want to do is again go ahead and log into your twitter account okay you should be logged in and there is a website dev.twitter.com dev.twitter.com go ahead on that website <clears throat> even if you haven't used it before it's not hard at all you will have this uh, this option here in the menu my apps go ahead and click on that option my apps and you can see that I've already created this one as a test but what you have to do here is create a new app and I will name it test 6 uh, lead finder okay description finds leads okay website <clears throat> Go ahead and copy your website and put it here. Your web website where you install the plugin, obviously. Uh, then check this, uh, this agreement here and then press create your Twitter application. And this is about it. Okay, it's very, very simple. Now, what you want to do is go ahead in the permis permission section here. Okay. Check the last one, read, write, and access direct messages. Press update settings. And this is it. Now, what you want to do is go ahead in the keys and access tokens. You can see that this is the cons consumer key and the consumer secret key. And also what you want to create is a token here, create an access token. So press this button, create my access tokens. And here we go, guys. We have the consumer key, the consumer secret key, and also the access tokens. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and copy and paste them one by one in the settings here. First, the consumer key. Then we go and copy the secret key, which is a little bit longer. Okay. And then the access tokens. Okay. The first access token. and the secret one okay and i think we should be okay now let me just copy the this one again because it doesn't seem right here okay and we will press save settings i think this one should be like this okay save settings again and this is it guys pretty simple now it has been set up okay our new plugin is ready for us to use now let me show you exactly how you can use it uh, go ahead for example in facebook lead finder okay go on a group i mean you sell you have to select from here what what you want to search for group place let's say we want group okay and i want a group regarding gardenings gardening okay number of items let's see 15 okay you just press the search now button okay and we have picture id privacy owner okay now we can export all of this okay in a csv as you can see we have csv or excel file and for groups okay it gives us everything all the information that we need for a group i mean for a group you don't have an email address or a phone number okay you have an id and it says privacy owner description link so you have all of this information here now what you can do is export all of this in a csv file or into an excel file okay another thing that you can do is for example let's search for users right for example key finder uh, let's see uh, keyword finder let's see uh, I know garden okay the same thing search now let's see what we will find <clears throat> okay as you can see we already have IDs we absolutely have everything now uh, if we want to export the CSV file you just have to click on it and let's check it out okay it has exported it for us very very simple guys okay this is how this works now let's try something different for a page right let's search for pages as well website location email we don't have email we have likes okay 
<clears throat> let's see we have email we have email okay and now if you export this one you will see that you have picture name phone emails okay for each I, I don't like CSV file I like more Excel files uh, what happens let me try again okay it doesn't work on my <clears throat> on my Microsoft Office I don't know why but the whole idea is that you have all of this information okay also phone numbers email addresses okay likes uh, you have likes okay number of likes you have IDs you have everything you need here okay so it's very very easy for you to get new leads okay so this is very very simple the same way it works for let me see if we have database here okay we already have databases here okay garden okay with uh, email addresses phone numbers and so on okay for gardening garden answer garden gardening club okay if we go to phone numbers we can see all the phone numbers that we got we if we go to emails we can see only the emails okay very simple the same way is for Twitter lead finder user for example again gardening 10 let's press the search now button and here we are okay we have a list with all users who are interested in gardening or I don't know something related to the gardening keyword okay they have tweets with the gardening keyword they have a username they have details regarding gardening okay and we can see a lot of information regarding them here okay so this is pretty neat now if you look for tweets is the same thing okay we can see tweets who have the hashtag gardening or who have the keyword gardening inserted in them okay pretty nice right so this is a very cool uh, plugin that you can use in order to get new leads for your business I'm 100% sure that this will be very helpful for you if you are uh, cold prospecting okay for new leads and uh, I hope this was helpful for you and uh, I'm looking forward also to see you in our future videos with our newest plugins as well bye bye for now and enjoy your new plugin it was Sorin here